Aries, welcome to your reading for October, which will be Libra season at the beginning and Scorpio season the second half. And of course, All Hallows Eve on the end of October there. So I'm using my, well, it's not a Halloween deck, but I'm just drawn to this deck at this time of year. Um, just resonates with me more okay transitions to the spirit realm which we know um, in all Hallows Eve the veil becomes thinner so it's easier to connect with them I see you really going back to your roots connecting with your ancestors here I guess your ancestors trying to bring you messages and answers um, mess uh, like at this time uh, lots of gratitude practice that um some of you are practicing something else uh yeah <laughs> very interesting there so especially it looks more like a mexican themed thing um i know one of the other countries there they celebrate the day of the dead not in mexico i don't think I'm trying to think which one it is, but the kids in the background are screaming. So I'm just going to close the door. I'm near a nursery. Um, although it is lovely to hear children screaming, not in this middle of this video, right? It's very distracting. Um, so yeah, it's like, you know, praising and getting support from those who have already transitioned to the spirit realm you miss someone okay so you'll get lots of messages at this time if you request them and lots of signs about this person that you'll miss you could be missing somebody who's passed into spirit here a clear solution will be presented to you with these answers that your ancestors have they are giving you their support their power and sending you lots of signs here so um just a closer look at the cards there You'll definitely, if you're seeing messages, don't second guess them because this is definitely your ancestors backing you. Somebody does miss you. I feel that um, you'll also be getting signs off them in the 3D. So a clear solution, a clear sign you'll get either this person reaching out to you or you reaching out to them. Uh, it's this connection with each other. Okay. Um, let's see here what we have going on uh, hopefully you see why i love these cards too right that's card 16 29 and 24 so you're missing somebody shallow grave and the lantern fairy here okay let's see three of swords reverse jumping out here so they're saying don't be heartbroken or somebody's pretending not to be heartbroken here feels like somebody's pretending that they don't care about you that they don't miss you as much as you miss them um but they do uh, and i feel like your ancestors are letting you know that um that person misses you too i feel like your ancestors are helping you to heal from uh, a broken heart here but to also get your power uh, and strength from them okay king of wands here so this is you helping you to become the biggest, best version of yourself, helping you to ascend into a more powerful being. Um, you might be practicing something here. It's like you're stepping into your own, doing something very creative. You might do something like this, like maybe uh, art, tattoos, drawing, dressmaking, hair design here. Something very creative comes from this heartache, this growing pains. Um, but somebody is really putting on a show here that I don't care, I'm not interested, I don't miss you, uh, but newsflash, they do. Uh, somebody, Hierophant reversed there, this is somebody who is not over you. Um, and I feel like probably this is why you're missing them as well, they're holding on to you energetically. Um, I feel like they will take action here, King of Wands. So if you guys uh, are communicating, they'll let slip that one way or another that they do miss you here. 
Okay, so the tower. Mm, so this person uh, broke your heart here. You feel like they're not learning their lessons, but this was part of the divine plan. There has been delays. When we see the major arcana reversed, it is delays, okay? Um, so I do believe this person's ego, pride, um, you know, they didn't want to say that I was hurt just as much as you. I was hurt losing you. I feel like they want to play this cool, small role um, and want to be this cool person and cool guy, cool girl, and nothing affects them. It's that song's coming to my mind that says, you probably think that you're cooler than me. I can't remember it, but that's what's coming there. Um, that this person doesn't want to give away their heartache here that I feel like although you are learning lessons and learning about yourself here, the lessons are not over, will come as quite a surprise, like as if out of nowhere, this person will just appear like in your DMs or something like that. That's like, hey, you're like, what the hell? I've been missing you for how long? And then they appear, um, which will be quite shocking here with the tower for you. But I think the connection between you um, grows stronger. I feel like your ancestors are supporting you. Um, so what it is you want, it'll sort of manifest instantly. Even if it's been like a long time, your communication with your ancestors here uh, will become so strong during October that you might even shock yourself, okay? Uh, either with your own power, um, or the, their creativity. Your wish will be granted. Know that. Your wish will be granted. Claim it. Because um, whatever it is you want, they are supporting you getting what you want. Now, this person needs to be careful because your ancestors don't play. <laughs> your ancestors don't play with people who break your heart and hurt you. They need to come forward and step up here. Um, I feel like they need to change. Uh, the five here with the Hierophant is about change. So they need to change something in order to have union with you. And this is what your ancestors are like watching your back or something here. Um, the Hermit. So again, there's this looking for something deeper, um, more meaning to life here. And this person is soul searching and trying to find their meaning to life. Um hiding their heartbreak even from you i feel like was their main goal at one point so they could have just run off and ghosted you here and gone within themselves and really tried to convince themselves they wasn't heartbroken over you but they're still not over you here um which is quite shocking to them it's usually that nobody it's like playing a player um so this player could have thought that hey um, you know, I'll just love them and leave them. And then they met you and you've turned their world upside down here. Uh, so they're searching for the answers. You know, can anybody else replace you or something like that? And it's just not happening here for them. They just can't take their focus away from this. So they can't run away from the Hierophant anymore. They can't run away from that lesson that, you know, not everybody is replaceable. And this is what they're finding out here. So this is somebody pretending that they don't have feelings for you when <laughs> they actually do. And you're just at home missing them. But I feel like you're invoking your ancestors and something really powerful here into action. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles here. This is you growing in power. I don't even know if you realize it, that how powerful you're becoming. Um a powerful manifester and here we see you know you've grown so much from your heartache and your lessons um that you're not going to be fooled by them this player can't you know you're like hey player i'm the coach so get on the field if you want to play this game i'll teach you you've really taught them that you know I'm fabulous with you, but I'm fabulous without you too. And it's driving them crazy. They can't stand you being single. So they probably spying somewhere to say, are you with somebody? Are you not with somebody? That sort of thing going on here. Yeah, four of pentacles. Well, I knew, 
um, that they're hiding this broken heart and that they can't let go of you here. Um, whereas I feel like you've rebuilt yourself from heartbreak. So you've transformed and transitioned like we've seen up here in this card 16. You went through the death process. So uh, you went on and are vibrating higher than they are. Um, that's because you learned your lessons, right? So it's not that it was easier for you. You could walk away and start again and invest in yourself and build a foundation, what you could stand on. But that's because you was knocked down to rock bottom. So I'm not confused that you just had it easy. I feel like you made the best of a bad situation. You started to rebuild yourself here. But in all honesty, you missed them. Um, you'll be getting lots of clear signs in October. This lantern and this lantern here we can see trying to light the way for you. So I feel like you're being guided together here. Your ancestors will be watching out for you though. So I, I suggest this person don't mess with you. <laughs> uh, Princess of Cups, they do want to communicate how they feel. Um, I feel once they get over that initial hurdle, they will wear their heart on their sleeve and they'll become quite soft. Whereas here, what they present to the world is this player like jock energy if you like um that hey i'm the tough guy i'm the cool guy and then really inside they're a princess of cups <laughs> i don't want to hurt their ego anymore um because you already did that but here we see that you know how they speak to you and what they show the world might be two different things they they would be like i really love you and really begging you and i'm sorry with this princess of cups here this is the page of cups communication of love this can even be that they might be drunk texting um and getting their feelings and start texting you like hey when they're drunk you know it's all i love you and everything like that you hurt me and expose their heart um or just when they're in your presence they feel like everything comes out here this is why i couldn't let go of you this is why the tower um, this might be a surprise confession of their feelings towards you because up to now they've been trying to hide what they actually feel for you which yeah isn't working for them <laughs> four of cups um, yeah so you might think okay they're never going to make me the offer I haven't heard from them they really don't care because that's the energy they wanted you to put out now they're coming into more into balance they could have even left with a third party here um so this is why you don't see this offer coming but here's the communication here's the cup here's them reaching out to you with the four of cups um discontentment boredom uh you could be feeling while being single um you could be ha unhappy with how all this played out even a sadness uh, with the four of cups here let's, little bits of depression if we're laid in bed doing nothing um just holding on after this tower we could hold on be sad upset not seeing the way it's coming but your ancestors have seen you hurting heard your tears heard you crying um are really be behind you here some of you who have missed somebody who has passed on they're trying to be around you and support you at this time um so don't ever think that they're anywhere but with you they're saying just i'm here i'm here just because you can't see me i'm here i'm supporting you um a lot of people think like you know ancestors okay they're going to be um only those who from hundreds of thousands of years ago but this is it could be somebody quite recent you're like hey I, they're like I'm here with you. They send you a loving message with the page of cups. And let's see here. Three of cups. So union, togetherness, like we were speaking of. Celebrate, smile, be happy, be joyous, because this is what they want for you, your ancestors. And this person who you miss is pretending they don't have feelings for you, but they want you back. Okay, this is union celebration good news and be careful because it could be pregnancies okay if you're not looking to get pregnant uh, or start a family be careful um, because <laughs> it's going to happen here 
uh, my capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I'm lost. So this is what's going on with them. They they feel lost without you. Um, they, they don't know what words to say to you. But in that moment, they'll find the words and they'll find the compassion and the power, everything they need to speak to you when it counts you know when they get the chance they'll find the words true healing occurs when i give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers whatever is making you feel sad lost depressed feel them okay because only when we feel them can we heal them and let them go and find true healing okay through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So I feel like you have more power than you realize. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world, the world through the lens of love here. Okay, so when we change the way we see the world, the world we see changes. Okay, so look at what's making you feel discontented unhappy and if you miss this person be honest with yourself because you don't want to be on their side either where you're pretending that you don't miss somebody when you do because either way it's no way to live good luck guys